Welcome veterans and friends to our Falls Village Veterans Day event. We gather here this morning to remember, thank, and honor all our veterans, those alive and those gone on this national holiday. Veterans Day began as Armistice Day. An armistice is a treaty. An armistice was signed ending World War I on the 11th day, 11th month, 11th hour, or November 11, 1918. On November 11, 1919, a year after the end of World War I, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11, Armistice Day, to honor our fallen soldiers. In 1926, the United States Congress made Armistice Day a legal holiday. Then, in 1945, Raymond Weeks, a World War II veteran, organized the first Veterans Day celebration to include all veterans, not just those that died during World War I. On June 1, 1954, President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed into law Veterans Day, changing the word armistice to veterans to honor all men and women who have served our country to defend our freedoms. Today, there are approximately 18 million United States veterans alive, and to you, our Falls Village veterans, we are honored by your present presence. Many of us at Kellogg are holding poppies today. The red poppy is a national symbol of sacrifice that was worn by Americans since World War I. It reminds Americans of the sacrifice, sacrifices made by you, our veterans, to protect our freedoms. We wear the red poppy, often on Memorial Day, to honor all veterans. Would our K-12 students please present a poppy to our veterans and our friends that are assembled here today? Our eighth graders will now read In Flanders Fields, written by Canadian Army Doctor Lieutenant Colonel John McRae. This poem mentions the red poppies that grew over the graves of fallen soldiers, and it's from this poem that the idea for remembrance poppies was born. The paper poppy has become a symbol of remembrance for fallen soldiers around the world. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks so bravely singing fly scarce heard amid the guns below we are the dead short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow loved and were loved and now we lie in Flanders fields Our seventh graders have written letters of thanks, so I will turn it over to you. To all the veterans that have joined us today, we are so thrilled to have you in our presence. Thank you so much for your time, bravery, and sacrifice for our country. We all have a lot of respect for you. Thanks to you, we have people who are dedicated to bringing peace to our world. We feel safe in our community because of your kindness and courage. Your sacrifices continue to give us freedom and hope. As autumn approaches, reflection feels natural. Our reflection has led us to appreciate and remember your valiance. We might not ever be able to understand the devotion it takes to be willing to commit your life to a cause. Your allegiance to our country is awe-inspiring. And now as we stand here with you, we vow to honor our dead and living veterans. All we can do is remember, and we do today. Whether you fought in a war, 
in a time of war or in peacetime, your courage is unmatched. To be willing to give up the life you were living and the life you would have lived is glorious. Thank you. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answer to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old, fought for freedom, brave and bold. Are there any veterans that would like to say anything about your time, your service, um, the meaning of today for you? Thank you for inviting us. Yes, thank you very thank much you very for much. having us here. Very nice. Thank you for inviting nice. us. You're from Southern New Jersey. Thank you. Thank thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Just to have breakfast here. I'm saying the great one and two weeks of the day. Anyway, my great great grandfather was in Falls Village. Uh, long story short, it's a familial tradition to go in the military. But um, when I was young, a young boy, uh, we were in North Canyon Elementary, and my dad moved to Salebnon. I don't know the reasoning <laughs> to learn the language and the family. And then the Civil War began, and it was horrific, and we were able to leave Lebanon. And when we came back to Connecticut, my dad had bought a house in Falls Village and we went to Kellogg. Started Kellogg. And Todd Consolini was my sponsor, Laura Sinclair was my sister's. This country we have is a wonderful country and everyone can do something to, to serve. It doesn't necessarily have to be the military by being a good citizen, you can do your part to keep this country. Here, here. So to conclude our gathering today, seventh grader Aiden Krupa is going to play tax. Taps consists of 24 sad and sorrowful notes and is played to recall and show respect for the mem memory of soldiers in the five branches of the armed forces the Army, the Navy, the Marine Corps, the Air Force, and the Coast Guard. This final bugle call is a sign of respect and is a tribute to our known and unknown fallen soldiers. <laughs> our Veterans Day gathering. We thank everyone for coming, and to our Falls Village veterans, thank you for your service. We enjoy freedoms that we should never take for granted because you stepped up to serve our country. We are honored by your presence here today, and we can never thank you enough.